Alright, so <clears throat> after that huge long tutorial I did in the last video, I want to make this one a little bit more relaxed, a little more chill. In this one we're going to be implementing coin piles, so you can pick them up off the ground and it gives you, you know, X amount of coins. So let's uh, go ahead and add this. It's really not that hard to add either. What I did is I went to C++ classes, right clicked on pickup and made a C++ class inheriting from pickup called pickup underscore coins. And in it I have added, just to save time, I've already added this stuff, virtual void interact implementation, the constructor, and the in the includes I added an include inventory character. I'm going to right click on interact implementation and add that. That's all added. We'll copy the constructor. Cool. So we're going to add a little protected section here, which means that we can only access this within the class or classes derived from this class. Uh, and in fact, I'm, I'll just make this private because I'm not going to make anything inherit from coins anyway. Uh, so what we'll do is we'll say int32 amount of coins and then we'll make this editable anywhere. So we can actually edit this in the editor. So we'll say edit anywhere and now we can set the amount of coins in the game because not all coin piles are going to have the same amount of coins. Some might be small, they might be 50 coins, some might be 200 coins and so on. So we've gone ahead and set the amount of coins. Now what we'll do is we will initialize that in the constructor, so amount of coins equals zero by default. When we interact with the coins, not when we use them, because use is when you click the item in your inventory, but we don't do that with coins. With coins, we just pick them up off the ground and then they go straight into our coin, um, coin pouch or whatever. So to do that, we're gonna get a reference to the character. So we're gonna say a inventory character, character equals cast, So cast into an A infinity character. I'm going to use U game play statics get player character this and zero. And then we're just going to say add coins to the character's little coin pouch. Uh, what have I done wrong here? Ah, uh, we need to make this a pointer. There we go. So character, and we're going to say update gold. Update gold and give the player amount of coins gold. So whatever we've set the amount of coins to, give them that much gold. Then after we've picked up the gold, destroy it from the level. We don't need it anymore, it's gone. We've added the coins to our inventory, and then we can get rid of the gold. So that's pretty much done. Um, that was easy. Uh, right, so we've got pickup coins now, and um, we're going to right click, create blueprint class, we're going to call this pickup underscore coins BP. And again, I'm just using blueprint to set up the default values for this class. It's not going to have a thumbnail because it doesn't appear in our inventory at all. It's destroyed straight away, it doesn't go to our inventory. So we don't need a pickup thumbnail for this because coins don't go to our inventory, right? They just go into our little coin pouch. They don't need a value either. What they don't need though is an item name, so we're going to say gold. That's easy enough. Um, and we'll say gold. Yeah, that'll do. And proceed to pick item up will do as well. Um, so let's click on interactable mesh. And for our mesh, we're just going to use a cylinder. Now I know that might seem a bit weird, but you'll see why in a minute. Compile and save that. And now if we drag our coins blueprint into the scene, We'll scale the cylinder because it's huge right now. And I'm just going to add a couple components to this. So we've got our component, static mesh. It, again, this might seem a little weird, like why are we doing this? But what I'm doing is just making a... Um, I'm making a little like coin pile, basically. So add another one of these. Kind of want this to look like a big pile of coins on the floor. 
add another one. And we'll make this one small. There we go. Might be a better way to do that. We could probably just make a static mesh with all the little cylinders in it, but I'm just going to add a few cylinders because that's fast and easy. We'll go to interactable mesh, change the mesh to the gold mesh. Now our little cylinders actually look like piles of coins. Again, you can make a model for coins, but it's just a little bit of work and I'd rather just make cylinders my little coins. So we have these now, they're set up in the game, and um, if we pick them up though, we wouldn't even know if we picked them up or not, because our HUD just says gold zero, and it doesn't update, so let's quickly, won't take long, change that. So we'll go to the in-game HUD, click on gold zero, I'm going to go to bind, create binding, and I'm just going to rename this from get tech zero, I'm going to rename it to get um, gold in pouch. So that gets the amount of gold that the player has, right? And all we do here is we say get player character. Get um what's it called? Coins? Oh wait, now we have to cast it again. Yeah, cast to uh infinity character. Convert it to a pure cast. And then I believe it's get get gold. There we go. We get the gold, we get the amount of gold, and then we use a string format, or format text, I believe it's called. Uh, format text. So add a format text, and then we'll say gold, and then inside spiky brackets, just put gold in there. And then plug this into gold. What this does is it says gold, and then whatever this is in here, this is equal to gold, so it'll set up our gold to display whatever amount we have. So we just plug that in, plug that in, and now we're done. So now when we pick up the gold, it should tell us how much gold we've gained. Um, and here there should be amount of coins. Oh yeah, we didn't expose amount of coins. Oh no, I think we did. Um, amount, no, we don't have amount of coins. That is rather weird. Let's see here. New property edit anywhere. Let's just make this public anyway. I'd rather make this public and we'll call it category. We'll give it a category. And set the category equal to coin properties. We'll do. Um, Alright. So yeah, coins currently don't seem to have a amount of coins variable. So Hopefully that'll add that in. And then we can set the amount of coins. Once we set the amount of coins, um, we're good to go. We've got our coins. There we go, amount of coins. So let's, for example, say that this amount of coins is 50. So we'll play the game, and when I pick up my coins... Oh my god. <laughs> the physics. The physics. What the hell just happened? You know what? I turned all pickups to have physics on. I'm probably going to turn them off for this one because that's a little bit ridiculous, isn't it? Uh, oh, it's never on. What? Oh, it gets turned on. When we okay. Let's pick up the coins. As you can see, and it gets added to the gold pile. I'm going to make another little set of coins. We'll make three blocks of coins. Why not? I'll make these coins a little bit bigger. And we'll make this lot of coins a little bit smaller. And I made that smaller on all access, but whatever. Um, and then we'll s we'll change the amount of coins accordingly. So this is 50 coins. We'll make this 10 coins. And we'll make this giant pile here 500 coins. And now, as the player, we can run around and pick up our piles of coins. And it gives us the according amount. Um, I guess I guess we'll keep it keep it short, keep it brief, and. And close there. Uh, you know what? We'll keep going just a little bit further. I want to do one more thing. I want to get this help text going. 
So before we end this video, I'm going to get this help text going. So inside of this little text area, it's going to say, press E to pick up whatever. Press this to you know do this. So uh, we're going to create another bind, and we're going to create a binding, and rename, and this one is going to be get help text. All this does, get flag, in fact we can copy this over from get golden pouch, copy, drag this off, so we'll say get help text, and then drag the help text into there and that's it, that's all it does, very very simple. So now whatever the help text is equal to should appear in this box, and I hope this works. I might not have added something that I needed to to get it working. We'll see. So if we go to play, there it is. Press A to pick up. Hopefully these coins work. Yep, gold, press to pick up, press to pick up. Very good. It works. The physics are ridiculous. I have no idea what these are doing. Anyways, it all works. Um, and as you can see, press A to pick up. So that's the HUD working. We got coins. The last tutorial, we need a place to spend the coins. And that is when we'll add the shop, which should be pretty cool. So I'll see you guys in that video.